we're going to pop open our layers here and we want to preserve this uh, original so in case we change our mind or make a mistake so we're going to gently slide that over to the left and tap duplicate and then we're going to go over to our adjustments here and we're going to select hue saturation and brightness and we're going to dial the saturation all the way down and then we're going to go back to our layers and we're going to make invisible that original and we're going to create duplicates of the desaturated layers so we're going to gently slide that over tap duplicate gently slide that over and tap duplicate so we just want two extra copies there okay we're going to start with the top one here and we're going to tap that in which is the blend mode of normal and when you want to change that to color dodge then we're going to come back to our layer and tap it so that we get the layer menu and we're going to select invert finally here i'm going to draw this bring this down just a little bit so you can see what's going on i'm going to go over to my adjustments and i'm going to select gaussian blur now too little of this adjustment and it just becomes lines too much and it has this glow because it's overblown so what we want is to dial this down and I'm just using my pencil to dial down the threshold here and let's see let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing and I'm just going for a nice gray so somewhere around 25% on this particular image is pretty good it gives me some extra grays in the face and this is going to be really good when I mix it together with the next step in our process so when I'm satisfied I'm going to go ahead and tap that adjustment tool to close it out again. And I'm just going to bring this down just a little bit. Okay, now this was made with a blend mode, so I want to have all of these adjustments on a layer unto itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our wrench, and then with Add Selected, we're going to select Copy and Paste. Okay, and now the new layer is right there. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and make invisible this color dodge layer. So I'm going to turn the visibility off there. And then with this upper layer, I'm going to go ahead and change the blend mode from normal to add. And temporarily, I'm going to turn off the visibility of that, just so you can see what happens when we blend two uh, desaturated layers that are exactly the same and just change one blend mode. So we're going to take this one right here and tap the end so we open up the blending panel here. And we're going to go ahead and just change this to hard mix and just whammo <laughs> it creates a nice black and white for us so that's perfect but it's just two colors and i want to make this way more like well way more i want to add a couple colors too exactly <laughs> so that's why we have that insertion image up above so let's go ahead and turn the visibility of that back on and then let's go ahead and pop open our blending modes here and we want to play with opacity now so actually i'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see what i'm doing and then pop that open and play with the opacity and what i'm going for is a nice gray in this face and you can see it happen right there so now we have our black we have a lighter gray kind of a darker gray and then we have our white so that's about four colors you could argue that there might even be a couple more but this is pretty good i like it just like that so when i'm satisfied i'm going to go ahead and um, tap that layer again and now i selected that layer and i want to create all of this because again we're doing this with blending on a layer unto itself so let's go ahead and go over to our wrench add copy canvas and paste with that new layer i'm going to go ahead and turn off all of the layers underneath it um, and then let's see I'm going to go ahead and put uh, a layer just above this one and I'm going to fill it with let's see let's go with like a, a red just so you can see what's going on here okay now let's go back up and make sure we selected that top layer and I want to cut out the, the windows for my poster effect here so I want though to make sure that the white see how it's connected here to the hair i want to make sure that the hair and the face don't get selected out because um, i want to put my background effect through the windows and not on the face okay so what i want to do is i'm going to go ahead and sample here and i have it selected in my I have it set in my preferences that um, i hold and i can sample the, the um, color there then i want to make sure that i have the calligraphy monoliner uh, selected all the, and turned all the way to the to the smallest so size one percent and let's see I'm going to bring this down so you can see what I'm doing and then I'm just going to go ahead and connect the window to his hair and then I need to do it down here too because there's actually the face but I've got a piece of window right there so I'm going to sample again okay whoa and then I'm going to take out this little teeny these teeny little whiskers right there too <laughs> All right, and then I'm just gonna draw down. 
like that. Okay, so now I am ready to select out my windows and this will be all prepped for my, uh, my poster. So let's go ahead and uh, choose the selection tool and I have automatic and add selected and if your color fill is blue like that then tap it so that it's white because you don't want it on. Um, okay, so now that it's it's all set the way I want it, I'm going to tap in the window here to select and you adjust the threshold just by dragging your pencil along. So just like most things in Procreate with a threshold, that's how you do it. So, okay, 25% is pretty good. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tap the other windows and they're all selected. And now I can use three fingers, drag down to invoke the copy and paste menu and then just cut. And you can see it cut for me. So now again, with this layer selected, I'm going to go ahead and select my eraser. I want it to be the monoliner, but I think I want to draw it all the way up there like that. And I want to just go ahead and clean up the, the little edges right here by erasing them. And I have one here too. Okay. All right. So that is our posterizing effect. And we will turn this into art in a future video, probably next week. Meanwhile, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you choosing to spend your time with me and I hope that your day is amazing.